Okay, so what happens if I get through my narration and I make a mistake? Devastating! Ah! Okay, not really. So, if you'll notice here on our timeline, as we are recording our narration, we get these little thought bubbles that appear here. What PhotoStory does is it actually records the narration directly to this picture, if you will. So you'll see it actually changed the duration that we're on the picture too. This one's 10 seconds, which is a little long, by the way. This one's five seconds, etc. So we can actually go in, we can click on the picture that we want to remove the narration from and click this little undo button. And that will delete the narration just for that picture. And then I could record, re-record, there we go, the narration for that picture, okay? So again, I'll show you that process. You click on the picture that you want to delete the narration from, click delete narration, approve that, and then you could re-record, and you could do it just for that slide. You'd click record, say what you're gonna say, and then click stop in that case. Or you can record for several slides in a row as I showed earlier, click record, do your narration, and then click the next slide button. All right, that's how you record narration and uh, make changes to it as needed. You can, again, now preview your video to see what it looks like with the narrations on there. You can go back in, change any motions that you would like to, uh, and then we're ready to move on. So you click Next to get to the music area. Now, PhotoStory allows you to add music kind of wherever in the slideshow. So whatever slide or picture you're on down here in the timeline, that's where the music will be added. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put mine right at the beginning. And we have two options here. One is to select music from your hard drive, something that you've saved. The other is to create music. This is kind of a fun little option. So you can choose a genre. Maybe I want funk music. Why I would want that on a Spanish video, I am not sure. And then, yeah, funk jungle sounds good. And then I can choose the mood. Do I want it cheerful or sad or what? I can slow it down or speed it up. I can make it more or less intense. Now let's give it a sample. Okay, actually, I really, really like that. Okay, we're gonna click stop on that. And if you like that music, then you go ahead and click okay and you'll see it puts it on your story and it will automatically fade it out here at the end. Okay, so that's one way to put music on. You can go in there and then create music. Now, what if I got partway through my movie and I wanted it to change music? So I click on the other picture, whatever picture I want the new music to start on. I choose, this time I'm gonna show you how to select music and add it. So I'm gonna add some that I saved to my hard drive here. There we go. And it pops it on right there. Okay, so I'm gonna preview this. Okay, that was totally unintentional, but wicked cool. So that's how it's gonna work. Um, if you want, for example, the tone of your piece to change, so maybe it's upbeat and then all of a sudden it gets scary, you could change the music partway through uh, to accentuate that. Now something else you'll probably notice is that you'll need to turn your music down like most of the way. You want this to be an enhancement to your piece. You don't want it to overwhelm your voice. So the big thing with a narrated video is that you need to be able to clearly hear the narration throughout the piece. And that means turning your music down, okay? All right, I will show you now how to go about saving this as a movie. Right now, if we save project, it's gonna save it as a Photo Story 3 project, which doesn't help you for later. So we're gonna click next and save it for playback on our computer. Then we're going to be smart and give it a good descriptive name like why Spanish and click next. That's the key. Click next and it'll save it.